Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. With the arrival of the Retro Pocket 3, we found it to be a great handheld for PSP Portable. We've decided to update the board to speed it up, but before we do that, we want to optimize the Retro Pocket 3 for OutRun 2006 on the newest PSP, which is currently at 1.14.2. So let's get to it. First, let's load it up, press triangle, and then delete game config. We want to start this process with a clear slate. Now go back to the main menu, then hit settings. From here we'll make a base config with settings that can't be changed once the game has been loaded up. Go to system, and I've turned off transparent UI background and UI background animation to keep things as light as possible. Go down to the very bottom, and change from PSP 1000 to 2000 to 3000. The latter has double the memory, which should help with caching data from the emulated UMD. Now go back to the main menu, and then load our game. In the main menu, go to Outrun 2SP, choose a car, make sure to select Manual, Outrun Mode, then your favourite track. Once the race is loaded up, we can start to faff with the settings. Go to the Pizzabizzabiz menu, then Save State. Now with any changes done to the settings, we can quickly get back into the game to test them out. Next thing to do is create game config, and all the changes done now will only apply to this game. Here are the settings we've set, but please fiddle and let us know in the comments if you find anything that speeds up performance. For the handheld itself, I prefer this to be full screen, but when using a video capture card, this needs to be set off. The biggest change to the newest Puzzabur settings are these options here. In the other settings video we made, we had buffered and unbuffered modes. These two settings here are essentially unbuffered, and checking these will give better performance, but increased graphical errors. If you want the game to look prettier, bump up the anisotropic filtering, and you want to have texture filtering set to nearest, or you have some graphical bugs. To keep the system even lighter, check out networking, and turn off all the network options. And here are my system options. Altering the CPU core a little may help in some games, such as GTA Vice City Stories. If you're wondering when to use it, think, does this game slow down on a real PSP? If it does, bump it up. And that's it, we're done. Now we can go to load state and give it a test. But not as a screen cap. Let's bring out the real thing. <laughs> 